Hello, third grade readers. It's Mrs. Faust. I am super excited today because we are starting a brand new reading unit, and it's going to be a unit on mysteries. Today, we have our new read aloud. Now, instead of just starting right in with the story, I thought today would be a good day to take a sneak peek at what our story looks like it's going to be about. Look at the front cover, readers. What do you notice? Yeah, I see the name of the book, the absent author. It says A to Z Mysteries at the top. And we have our author, Ron Roy. Hmm, I also noticed some characters. I wonder if they're going to be in the story. What else do you notice with the picture? Yeah, I notice it might be listing a place here. Let's take a look at the back cover. It says A is for author. A famous writer is coming to Greenlawn. Dink rushes to the bookstore to meet his favorite author, Wallace Wallace, and get all his books signed. But the author never shows up. Where is Wallace Wallace? It's up to Dink and his friends, Josh and Ruth Rose, to track him down. Hmm. So this will tell us if this is a book that might interest you. Let's take a look inside the front cover, third grade readers. What do you notice? Yeah, it looks like there are lots of different A to Z mystery books. So this must be just one book in the series. That's really exciting to me. That tells me if I really enjoy this book, then there are some other A to Z mysteries that I might enjoy also. Look at the next page. Huh, this looks like this might be a page from the book that they went ahead and put at the beginning. It's always good to read because then it, you will know if you're interested. Let's see what it says. A is for absent. Come on! Dink dragged his friends down the street to the book nook. They looked through the window, out of breath. The bookstore was crowded with kids. The book nook's crowd, I'm sorry, the book nook's owner, Mr. Paskey, had set up folding chairs. Dink noticed that most of them were already taken. Dink saw Mr. Paskey sitting behind a table. A big white sign on the table said, Welcome, Wallace, Wallace! But the chair behind the sign was empty. Dink gulped and stared at the empty seat. Where was Wallace Wallace? Huh. Does this make you interested to see what's going to happen in this book? Curious? Let's look at our next page. Oh, look, we have our title page. We have the title of our book. We have the author. We also have the illustrator listed, John Stephen Gurney. Huh, I see it looks like there's a key and it says a name of a hotel. I wonder what that has to do with the story. Let's turn our next page. Oh, look, third graders, there's a map. Why do you think they included this map? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like it might be a map of the town where the story's taking place. It says, Welcome to Greenlawn, home of the A to Z mysteries. And if you look closely, I see a couple of the name of the characters. I see Dink and I see Ruth Rose. Looks like they might be neighbors. Do you see anywhere else that might have been on the front cover, perhaps? Oh, yeah, look down here. I see the book nook. Hmm, that was on the front cover. All right, let's flip back to the end of our story now. Mrs. Faust is always very careful not to flip back to where the text actually is because we don't want to see the end of the story. Let's see what this says. Have you read all of the books in the A to Z mystery series? Help Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose. Oh, look. It looks like it's listing lots of the different books that are in the series that you may be interested in after we read this book. And then our very last page, third grade readers. I always like to know about the author. Let's see what it says. 
Ron Roy has been writing books for children since 1974. He is the author of dozens of books, including the popular A to Z Mysteries, Calendar Mysteries, and Capital Mysteries. When not working on a new book, Ron likes to teach his dog tricks, play poker with friends, travel, and read thrilling mystery books. Hmm. So the author likes to read mystery books, and he likes to write them for kids. That's a neat connection. All right, readers. I don't know about you, but I am excited tomorrow to start The Absent Author. <laughs>